Hey guys, it's Watchers One and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 198. I'm getting over the tail end of a cold at the moment, so my head's a little bit stuffy. It's like almost like I'm underwater, you know, the feeling. It's not a good feeling. But we're going to finish off, hopefully today, we're going to finish off our subtly two toned brick house. I, I don't think we'd quite call it a mansion, it's not quite that big, but it's certainly a large house. And we've done a huge amount of progress last episode, going to make this one really, really easy. In fact, I might uh, decide to cut away while doing the roof because it is quite large and it is very simple. One of the simplest uh, roofs, I think, that we've done for quite some time. Uh, although it's a cross shape, because it's all sort of just 90 degrees internal and external angles, it's just going to be a matter of sort of following it around all the way. I might put a couple of chimneys on this as well. I think the roof is very large. And I think if we don't do anything on it and we just leave it, it might look a little bit blank. So being able to have like a couple of chimneys in a couple of different places, I think, will really help. Uh, also, I was thinking about a cool idea for the front uh, of here. How we're going to sort of do the... Uh, I always think about like the... the, the, the fence design or the hedge design or something like that and because this has got a big old double garage i was thinking about doing some big iron gates that are sort of open so we'll build them diagonally i think that would be cool even if we just build them out of iron bars or even just have one of them open i think it could look pretty smart so the roof obviously we're going to use the same roof or the same uh, textures that we used for the front here so i'm also going to need the stair variant like that and it's really simple, guys. I don't think really anybody can get this wrong. All you're going to do is follow the line around like that. And then follow it this way. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it, it, it really get, doesn't get simpler than this. And that one and that one. And we do that all the way up. And it'll give a really cool little... Uh, a little sort of angle shape going all the way around i think but yeah there's no point in me filming this on camera you guys have seen this a million times i shall be back you know you could make an argument of this being a mansion that took quite a long time i decided oh i'm gonna decide that i'm gonna do the ridge tiles in quartz i think it could be really cool to break up sort of either side of the roof like that yeah i think i like that okay and then the top of this one whoops just to finish off yeah, it's big, man. It's quite big. When you look at it from the front as well, if you think about it, it's like, I would say that would be like a normal house, you know, four windows. This has got like 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 nine along the front or something silly like that. It's big. Okay, I think I'm going to run this all the way, like a straight shot like that. And maybe this is like the perfect spot for two little chimneys, look, that we were talking about. I think if we go with just some slabs... And I just make that a little bit smaller so it becomes like a two by three. And the same on this side. Uh, what is that? Two by three there and a two by three there. And then fill it up with uh, probably brick, I think, will be better than going with the, uh, the clay color. And then this will be our sort of double chimney stack. Well, my house has got... Uh, no, oh no, it had. It doesn't has anymore. It had six chimneys. My house did. Uh, but we didn't ever use two of them. Uh, so when we had solar panels fitted, we removed uh, two of them. Or we got someone to remove two of them. Hold your ears, guys. Oh, anvils are so loud. Okay, that looks really quite cool. I think I like that. I think the chimneys are a great idea. Having them in the center is really, really cool as well. Yeah, I like it. I like the two-tone of the, the, the clay as well. It's a really nice subtle change. And the pillared quartz on the corners uh, really make it look a little bit more expensive than what it would probably look like if we didn't have them. It'd probably look quite cheap, actually. It's a really nice little touch. So, let's get down some garden or some, some, some blocks, at least, uh, on the ground here. Set stone. Nice driveway for the double cars here. Do we want to have any block to sort of differentiate here? Like, do we want to have this just running along here probably i think it would probably be a a good idea it sort of just breaks it up a little bit doesn't it keeps the road uh looking nice and clean now do i want a path leading from the road to here probably not why are you going to walk to the road for you're probably not going to you should probably go from the um from the car park here out shouldn't we go along and then sort of in whoa my dog just scared me man what are you barking for Whew, i forgot he was in the room with me uh, well, 
Uh, what path do I want to make it out of, though? I think I want to go with a two block wide. Uh, and let's sort of double it up. I always do gravel. Can we not do gravel this time? Can we try clay, maybe? Clay and stone brick. That could be cool. Just not the monster egg one. Clay and stone brick. That is 82 and 98. Set 92 and... What, what was it? 82 and 98. Set 82 and 98. A third block in there would be nice. Like maybe a 112. Yeah. I think it looks quite uh, almost marbly. Very expensive looking. Yeah, I like that. We'll go with that. It's nice and simple. It's nothing too crazy. Now... Let's think about this gate, because this gate is going to be quite cool, I think. I want a nice big pillar here. Let's go with some stone brick at the bottom. We'll just connect it up to there. I mean, how tall do we going to go? That's probably a nice, realistic sort of looking height. Something like that. Maybe cap it off with something cool on the top. If we've got, like, maybe a slab would, would be fine. But, aha! Not the monster egg one. Something like that, just to cap them off. Uh, and then if we go with iron bars, I think, although it's really simple, I think it will probably just look the best. Now, we could do it closed, or we could do them both open, or we could do one closed and one at a sort of angle. Let's do the closed one. So this will be what it would be closed. And we want this to go up. Uh... I think I wanted to sort of bow down a little bit or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly like that. You can imagine if we had two of them, it would sort of go down like that. Uh, but if we do the other one, uh, I should have done the other one, like half hoop, and otherwise we're going to cover up the... Okay, we'll do it at an angle then. Um... Okay, how many blocks was it? One, two... Okay, another one. We do it this way and then that one goes up a little bit okay and then it goes up again for two yeah see how cool is that that's pretty smart i think if i just add like one more or like like one more rid ridge like that i think it'll look a little bit more yeah like it matches although the lengths are different I think it looks like that would close up. That's really cool, hey? I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, can I change out like that block, though, for, I don't know, maybe even this one? Or, or leave that one open. So, like, when it closed, that little hole there would clip around that part. I like that. Okay, we're going to go with that. I think it looks really smart. Uh, along the front here, I think we should now go with hedges. We don't need to keep anything open, like like a front uh, walkway. We can just do the whole thing nice and... and oh, what do we do? A hedge above this. That could look pretty smart. Let's go to stairs. Oops. So we'll have the stairs go like... To, uh, I don't know, here somewhere. It's about the right height, I think. And then we sit leaves on top of that, and that's going to look really expensive. Two blocks high, I think. Well, what about sitting it behind it? Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. So I have these all the way back. I don't think I missed any. No. I thought for a minute I had. See, it looks pretty cool from the back side as well. It looks, you know, no real difference there. But from the front, having that just broken down here. Let's swap that one out for that. I just to say, well, do I even, like, need one there? Can I just, like, run it back this way instead? Or what have we done? If I wrap that around, and then I can do the same. 
sort of hedgerow design in there. Right about around the corner there. And then it, it just it just sort of pens in the driveway. A little bit more privacy. Oh, now that looks cool. I really, really like that design. I've never done a hedge like that. It's a new new design for me. Yeah, I think it looks really smart. Um, I might continue that down here as well. I think I like it that much. I won't do it at the back. We don't need. We don't ever need them at the back. But down here, certainly. I like that. Uh, stone. I always. Is it? Do I? Is it just me that does this? Like, do you only get rid of the block that you need from your hotbar? You never get rid of any other normal like like block. I never get. Why, why don't I get rid of this one? Like, I always could just get rid of the one that I'm gonna need, like in just a minute. It can't just be me that does that. Okay. So I'll finish this one off here. I'll add some uh, lights into the inside of the window so the house looks right at night. We like to do that. Uh, uh, uh. Do we want any windows above the garage? No, I don't think I do. Like, I've, we've done it before with garages. We've put, like, little windows poking above it. I don't think this house needs it, though. I think it looks fine how it is. That looks so smart. I think up here maybe needs something, though. Like, uh... Something like that. And then something like... Yeah, just see some, just something in there. Do I need to do the same on the back? What does it look like from the side here? That's all fine. You know what? The back's fine as well. The back hasn't sort of got the features like the garage doors and stuff that you need to sort of compete with. And it's backing onto the hillside, so it's fine. And on this side, it's good as well. I love how you can just see a little slither down the side there. It just fits so perfectly. Okay, marvellous. Let's decorate this up a little bit then. We'll grab some... Uh, well, I, might, I might need some more leaves. We'll keep the leaves on us. We'll grab some tall bushes, some nice expensive looking ones. And the ferns, obviously, because they're awesome. Fern. And then we want some expensive flowers. What are the most expensive flowers? I think these look expensive, even though I don't like them. And I think some sort of pinky and white tulips would make a really good colour scheme. We'll use some red roses as just some standout blocks. Maybe we'll have them just at the front of the house here. Just like three of them. And then these peonies, I think, will start running down the front of the hedge here. And then the ferns will just use as, like, uh, a thickening to make the, the, the hedge look quite as, um, like, just a little bit puffier. Not quite as well trimmed. Maybe have a couple in front of the house of them, because I like them. Because they're my favourite. And then... I think I want white ones in between these peonies. That's too many. Oops. I didn't even want to remove that one. I want to remove that one. Okay, and then in those little leftover spots, I think there's like two of them. Yeah, okay, I really like that. And then do I even need the, per the pinky ones? I think we'll stick with the white ones. Just stick those on the front. Yeah, nice and easy. Nice and simple there. Let's get some lime. Clay. And finish off some striped lawn. Uh, we don't need to weld. Ooh, whoa, whoa, mouse. Whoa, I won't even click no buttons then. It's like, a, like an auto dig mode. Is there such a thing? That wouldn't be a bad feature to have. <laughs> Strip mining, that would be brilliant. Mouse malfunction. Can't be batteries. I don't have any batteries in this mouse. It's a wired mouse. Like that, like that. that one. Do I want to do it at the back as well? I don't, we haven't looked at the back garden at all yet. Do, I might want to stick a tree in or, or something like that. I tell you what tree would be nice if I could fit it in. I don't know how much room I've got at the back there. It would be a double wide dark oak. You know, the ones that you see in the sort of the big giant mushroom biomes. That would be cool to have at the back here. 
No, I don't have the room. I don't think one would ever grow. No. Uh, he doesn't have much of a back garden here at all. It's sort of like, just goes straight into hillside here. Uh, you know, like, like this one does. It's just how the houses are. Um, I don't know. I think once we tree up this whole side here, we'll be well away anyway. Is my mic too far away today? That might have been too far away. Is that better? Maybe you guys can hear me a little bit better now. Yeah, this will all be treed eventually, so uh, that'll sort of make it look a lot smarter. But anyway, I think we're done for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We'll see you. I love the gate. The gate's such a cool feature in the next episode.